Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Indrajit and you're watching Jason. I want to say thank you to all of you who've shown tremendous amount of support during this last one month. I look forward to continue to create such amazing videos in the future as well. Today I'm doing a review of the IdeaPad Gaming 3 which I just got about two weeks back. Namaskar dosto, my name is Indrajit and you're watching Jason. Let's start. First things first. The most important factor to buy a laptop is the processor. The IdeaPad head is powered by AMD Ryzen 5 4600H processor. What's so special about it? 6 cores. That's 12 logical processor with up to 8 megabytes of L3 cache. The base clock speed of the processor is about 3 GHz. That goes up to 4 GHz with max boost technology. The IdeaPad Gaming gets the latest GTX series graphics card. The one I'm using has GTX 1650 graphics card. When it comes to the memory, the IdeaPad gets 3200 MHz DDR4 RAM. That's the highest available on the market. And there is two such slots available to add up to 16 GB of memory. 512 GB may not seem like enough storage for the editors who needs to store lots of footages, but running your OS on a NVMe SSD has its own charm. The system boots up within merely 10 seconds. Plus Lenovo is providing a hard disk connector inside the box as well. So you do have the option to add another hard disk if you need to. All those powers of the CPU are displayed on a 15.6 inches Full HD IPS screen at 60Hz refresh rate and 250 nits of brightness. The bezels are so narrow, in fact with 83% screen to body ratio, the screen actually looks bigger than a typical 15 inch screen. Two side firing 1.5 watt stereo speaker gives you a good idea about 3D surrounding sound since it comes with Dolby Digital hardware. The IdeaPad Gaming 3 gets a 720 pixel HD camera with a privacy shutter button to protect you online. Here is the footage from the inbuilt camera and the microphone. Lenovo makes one of the best industry standard keyboard since they acquired the ThinkPad brand. Keystrokes are super smooth with 1.5 mm key travel. This does not come with an RGB lighting, which is obvious with the price point it comes with. It does provide a blue backlit keyboard however, with two levels of brightness, which can be adjusted by pressing function plus spacebar. Larger arrow keys compared to the previous generation L340 gaming makes it super easy to navigate through. Nearly 30% bigger compared to the previous generation, the touchpad of the new IdeaPad gaming now comes with Windows Precision drivers. No matter how good the touchpad is, people like you and me knows the importance of using a mouse while editing your videos. And when you have too many wires coming out of the left hand side of the laptop, it gets in the way. Solution? The IdeaPad comes with the cleanest right side panel with only one USB port. That is probably for the external mouse adapter. On the left, it gets the USB type charging port, an RJ45 port, an HDMI 2.0 port, an USB 3.1 Gen 1 port, an USB Type-C port, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Lenovo claims the 45 watt hour battery gives you about 9 hours of backup, but it totally depends on the usage. Let me share my own experience here. I have tested the system with 8 layers of videos and effects on battery and got about 2.5 hours of backup. I have also run 3 Excel files, 4 to 5 Google Chrome tabs, Microsoft Outlook, and WhatsApp desktop app with battery server on and I could use it for over 11 hours before it ran out of juice. You can of course get back 50% of the charge within 30 minutes with the massive 135 watt adapter that supports rapid charge technology. One of the best features of the IdeaPad Gaming 3 is the Q control that of course comes standard with all the Lenovo gaming series including the Legion series. It is basically three modes that you can set or rather choose depending on your usage at the time that is quiet mode, balance mode and performance mode. It controls the fan speed, CPU usage, background activities by just pressing the function plus Q button. As simple as that. Once you are done with editing your videos, you can upload it to YouTube through lightning fast Wi-Fi 5 that gives about 3.5 Gbps speed. This one also gets Bluetooth 5.1 connectivity. Overall weight of the IdeaPad gaming is 2.2 kgs. However, the massive 135 watt adapter is even heavier than the laptop. That's another 2.7 kgs with the power cord. So that's a total of 4.9 kgs you'll have to carry around if you're planning to travel or edit your videos on the spot. Now that I've covered all the plus points, let's do a little bit. Number 1. 
The screen displays only 45% of the color gamut, which is less than 50% accurate. So if you are a professional photographer, you would have to think twice before handing over the final project to your client. Secondly, although there is a USB Type-C port, but it does not support Thunderbolt. And the last one is the RGB keyboard. But that is completely understandable when you consider the price point it comes with. I've been using the IdeaPad Gaming 3 for over 2 weeks now and I do not really have anything to complain about. So that was it for today guys. I hope ki aapko video pasand aaya hoga. I hope you like the video. This is my first review video. I tried to keep it as short as possible and covered as many points as I could. I hope you guys like it. If so, do share with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.